It's a little hard on, on the, the wives and kids, and, and three of us are married. Fortunately, we've been able to recently take our families along on some of the shorter trips, which is, which is great. One time when we were in uh, San Francisco, Danny Serafin and, and myself, Danny's the drummer, we both uh, took our families along with us. It's really great to take the families along and, and the wives and have them experience and see a lot of the places that we've already played and, and do a lot of the things that we've already done, to share that with them. Where'd that duck go? It's, it's sort of hard on the wives, though, and, but they don't really say too much about it. My wife, Jackie's really great that way. She's very understanding. The road and home life are, are two different things, they're two separate ideas. The road living is totally a different way of life. Somebody get out, one of you get out there so you know they're coming. Come on. You gotta go back. Wait a minute. All right. The most exciting thing about contemporary music is that we've, we've been able to communicate with large segments of not just this population, but you know, all through the world. Chicago has been phenomenally successful outside of the United States. They've been accepted all through the continent, in France, in Germany, Switzerland, in Denmark, in Holland, in Sweden, in England, uh, phenomenally. They've been accepted much more readily than they have here. Yet at the same time, we have toured more extensively here. We've played more cities here. We've played every borough, every state, every major city, over two, three hundred thousand population in the country. They might not be the most perceptive human beings in terms of what they see and how they see it, but they do experience more of the common denominator of this country and of every country because of travel, just because of the nature of travel. You learn a lot about people by traveling, the, the way they think about you. And on, on this trip, we were in Dallas, Texas, and usually we, we rent cars and drive straight through from the airport to the motel where we're staying. On our way to the uh, motel in Dallas, we drove past the spot where President Kennedy was assassinated, and we always, we always get a, a kick out of seeing the places that are historical sites. Pete Cetera, our, our, our bass guitarist, uh, takes a lot of snapshots, as a lot of the other fellows do, and it's odd. I never really feel comfortable or at home in the South. A lot of the, the people sort of feel uncomfortable about pop musicians, and sometimes they make me feel sort of weird and uncomfortable. I think the parents are, ju are just as terrified for many reasons, and probably rightfully so. They're terrified of, of their children, you know, idolizing these these type of performers. They're terrified of the drug culture which these performers seem to represent. They're, they're terrified of the, uh, of the value system which they seem to personify. One of the reasons pop music is so meaningful is because the people that are, you know, the performers of these groups, they're more in tune with the nation as a whole. They might be only in a, in a city or a college for one day and one performance, but when you are on a stage, you know instantly what they want to be told, what they want to hear, and what they want to experience. <laughs> Thank you.
what can I say? You know, Chicago. When they leave the Windy City, it must become a boy. You know, it's a Kids today, because of being exposed to a lot of music, they will not stand for a second-rate group. They will not have the wool pulled over their eyes by a group that more or less is just shucking, what we call shucking, or just goofing around on stage. They know, they know good music today, and they definitely don't want to see groups that uh, don't know what they're doing. Uh, it was friendly. Peter around on last couple tunes, man. Peter was Peter was I didn't realize that. Piano, man. It's all right. I was going, uh, I was going, 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 I was Hey, listen. Oh, introduction with Speed City, man. Oh, introduction, man. I couldn't even have a... Sometimes people accuse us of being cold and not friendly, but it's just the fact that we're really uh, shy, you know. Way back in the old days, like when I was in high school or nightclubs, there was, there was always chicks that are going to pick up on, you know, guys in the band, and this is just an extension of that. They are the female counterpart of this pop culture, and and it exists in uh, in every day, day life too. There are chicks that only want to marry doctors, and chicks that only want to marry lawyers, and chicks that, that are gunning for anybody with with money. I think there's a number of young ladies that pride themselves with being associated with entertainers, and just because they feel that they want to marry a pop star, I don't think it's you know I don't think it's any more unique than uh, than a career girl wanting to marry a doctor or a lawyer. That picture is Come over here and grab a spot on the floor. Wait, you know where we're are you still sitting in there Nice to see you. It was a good set Pete. It was really good. <laughs> What you been doing? Alright, you So let me put everything. Here are. Right on here. Is there any more glasses, Dan? Hey, Dan, is there any more glasses? Wally, is there any more glasses? You do meet a lot of people that, that are interested in just wanting to meet you to talk to you about, about your music, but there's always the, the few, uh, the male and, and the female groupies that are around just for their own private reasons, you know, just to touch somebody on somebody that's uh, in the pop music scene, you know, and that's uh, when you realize what, what their goals are. I gotta go home and clean. <laughs> it's, it's easy to f you figure them out pretty quickly. Uh, it sort of turns you off. You know? <laughs> Put it short and simple, a groupie is a chick that wants to know if somebody's successful uh, in a band. And uh, it's a, yeah, it's a status symbol, more or less. Let's put it this way. This was before we recorded an album. And we went to New York. And we, went, we used to go, you know, because everybody wanted to, you know, meet some chicks. You know, have a nice little drink and all this stuff. So, like, we'd go into these uh, nightclubs or something, you know. And, like, uh... All these groupie chicks, you know, they come up, oh, you got a lot of hair. Who are you? Oh, yeah, I'm with uh, CTA. <laughs> They'd split, you know, you wouldn't even see them for the rest of the night. <laughs> and now, you know, now we're the CTA, we have an album out, you know, now it's a different story, you know. We go into places, we don't even want to meet chicks half the time, and she's like, oh, 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 you know, all they are, all they want is a free ride. You know, that's all a groupie is. They've been here for years, man. They really have, you know. Groupies have been around ever since there was musicians. Around.